basically if it's a 5 series X5, if it's a 6 series, if it's a 7 series, with the earlier models from 2002 to 2010, um, most of them have, and it's a V8, most of them have the same engine. They all have the same problem. It's a valve stem seals leak. Now we've noticed that a lot of our customers are afraid of dropping a valve because they read about a lot of crazy stories. So one thing I can't stress is enough is if you feel confident and comfortable enough to pull the valve covers off, this job itself is nothing but time consuming. How much time does it take? Well, your first cylinder should take you pretty long. Why? Because it's gonna take time for you to get used to the tool and how to mount the tool and how to get to it and how to use it. Now, once you've done the first cylinder, each cylinder shouldn't take you longer than give it or take two hours per cylinder. It just gets, it gets with the rhythm. And also, there's a few tricks that you can make your job easier. It is by, if you're a short guy, you already have it easy as is. If you're a taller guy, you know, raise the car up a little bit so you don't have to lean so much down. Your back is gonna kill you if you're a tall guy. So, personally, I would not push myself to do this job in an eight hour job, so to say, just for the simple fact that it doesn't justify to get a job done that quick, and then the next three days you're sitting at home because you can't move because your back is killing you. So if you got a weak back, I suggest you not to do it. But if you uh, do want to do this job the smart way, our tools are rented for 14 days. So if you have a secondary car, then this tool is, is perfect for you because you know you do one cylinder a day and have a nice day. You know that way you have plenty of time to do your family stuff, plenty of time to do with the kids' activities, and plenty of time to get the job done. Now that's one thing that we strive of. Obviously family comes first before anything and everything. We've, uh, we also have a lot of people who've done this job and uh, a few people I should say, who managed to create a knot while they were using the rope. If you haven't watched the rope method video on how to do the valve stamps without dropping anything, without having the fear of dropping anything, you know, please watch one of our videos that uh, shows you how to use the rope if you're not sure how to use this tool, how to mount the tool in the engine, we also have a video on how to set up the AGA tool. We did a step-by-step -step thing so you guys can see it, exactly how to use it. In this video, mainly why I made this video was more so because I just can't, um, I hear so much about, I'm scared to do this job because I might drop a valve. Hardest part about this job itself is gonna be removing your valve covers. The rest is nothing but time consuming. Can't stress this enough. The engine does not have to be out of the car. The AGA tool is designed to do it with the engine in the car. And once you remove your valve covers, the rest is gonna be just time consuming. Yeah, you're gonna cuss a lot. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be stressful, but it's not, uh, undoable job. This job is 100% doable. Do you have to be a certified mechanic to do this job? No, you don't. As long as you know how to turn a wrench and you feel confident enough to remove your valve covers, more power to you. Now, these cars are relatively cheap nowadays. You, know, you can get a decent car for $55, $6,500 basically. And if you do get one, you know, it's 2019. If somebody tells you that I've done the valve job, you know, ask for pictures. And it's impossible for somebody not to have these pictures. You know, I've seen a lot of people where they get uh, fooled by switching over to a thicker oil. It'll stop the car. It'll stop the car uh, smoking for a little bit, but it'll smoke again in a matter of uh, hours or days. A lot of people use the thicker oil when they do sell these cars because they don't want to do this job, and they say to hell with it. If you do bring it to a shop to do this job, they're going to charge you anywhere between $22 all the way to $4,700. I'm talking about an indie shop. If you do bring it to a BMW shop, you're talking anywhere from $47 to uh, almost $9,000, $10,000. Obviously, the car itself is not worth it to do this. 
uh, to bring it to mechanic. But doing it yourself, absolutely. These engines are great. Obviously, they have the, you know, the ups and downs, but it's called maintenance. These cars are meant to run hot, and if you want to avoid running these cars hot, change your thermostat. And when I say change your thermostat, is change it from 105 to 90. And if you need a thermostat, you know, we'll gladly sell you one. Just give us a call or shoot us a text. Again, phone number is 414-629-6459. You do not have to program these thermostats. You know, it's a plug and play. They'll look identical to yours, but the only difference is they'll run a lot colder by 20, 25 to 35 uh, degrees colder than what you're running right now. If you want to see how hot you run, just look at your cooling temperature and they'll tell you how hot you're running right now. A lot of these cars go all the way up to 125, 126 degrees and that's pretty damn hot. But long story short, we do rent the tools and we also sell the seals. So the seals that we include is completely everything that needs to be done while you're in it. It's, a lot, it's very convenient for a lot of people because they don't have to wait for tools or or they don't have to wait for the seals. So this way when we do ship, we ship everything at once. I am gonna show you guys what happens if you use the rope and you create a knot. I'm gonna also show you what happens is if you do drop a valve on the intake, if you do drop an intake valve, what happens? And how to retrieve it? How can you get out of it? Without pulling the engine out of the car, without pulling the heads off. While you're doing this job, you do not mess with the timing. You do not pull the cans out. You do not do any of that. The engine is basically stays as is. You just remove a few things out and plug in the tool and go to work. Now, if you do gonna take the car to a shop to do this job, we've, uh, we're able to deal with a lot of shops that we rent the tools and a few shops that we stopped renting the tools, which I would not prefer to name the names, just for a simple fact that when they did call us to rent the tools, they said they only needed it for two days because they're gonna do a shortcut by changing just the exhaust seals. Well, the exhaust seal is a lot easier to change than the intake ones. And so by them changing just the exhaust seals, it's, um, it's a temporary fix. It'll last you about a year or so. It'll stop the car smoking, but it'll start smoking again in a matter of a few months. Well, the customer pays for the full price and they only get, you know, just like a half half ass job, so to say. So if you do decide to take the car to any mechanic to do this job for you, please, I can't trust this enough. Make sure you tell the mechanics you want the old seals in your hand whenever he's done. And the reason why that is, is because it's just gonna assure you that they replaced all 32 versus just 16. And so, it's gonna change the demeanor a lot when you ask for those old parts. Even if they say they don't give them to you, you know, tell them I want them. If they don't, then I would not, I would suggest you not to leave the car there, so to say. Now, when you're doing this job, it's, um, very time consuming, but again, I just really can't stress it enough that anybody can do this job as long as you know how to remove the valve covers. So stay tuned for the other video. We're gonna show you on how to, how to, uh, we're gonna purposely drop the valve down and how are we gonna retrieve it. And however you, when you drop the intake valve, it's, you literally retrieve the same way the rope, you pull the rope out of there, the exact same way as if you would retrieve the valve. Now, don't freak out, because you drop a valve, it's not the end of the world. As long as it's an intake one, do not, and I repeat, do not try this with the exhaust, because the exhaust, we have not been able to figure out how to, how to get the exhaust valve back in without uh, basically pulling the heads or pulling the exhaust manifold out. Once you pull the exhaust manifold out, it's the same concept as, as if you had the intake out. The only dumb part on it is pulling the exhaust out, it's a really nightmare. So stay tuned for our next video and I hope this is going to help someone that uh, 
This job is very doable to do it yourself. Come join our Facebook group, you know, and share your knowledge with us. Just because we do it this way doesn't mean we know it all and there's no other way. It's far from the truth. So we're constantly learning ourselves, and we're only humans. You know, there's always somebody out there better than another. That's why we created our Facebook group to uh, make this community for BMWs and BMWs only for these kind of problems. And I hope it helps a lot of people save money. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.